Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, today we'll be cooking fried Singapore vermicelli or Singzhou mi fen. So let's start cooking. In a heated wok, add in some oil. We are going to fry the prawns first. 10 pieces of prawns, disheveled and deveined. I'm cooking the prawns first because I don't want to overcook the prawns. And when everything is cooked, it's easier actually for the fried bee hoon. So normally for ingredients wise, I like to uh, make sure that they are cooked first. Once they are ready throughout, that means they are done. This will take about one or two minutes. Take out the prawns once they are done. Add in some more oil. Now we are going to fry the onions. One big red onion, cut into strips like this. Soften them a little bit. Add in three cloves of garlic chopped. Fry them until fragrant. There's a few versions of Singapore fried vermicelli or fried bee hoon in this region. In Hong Kong, what they do is actually they add in curry powder, but in Singapore, we don't do that. When onions have softened, add in three eggs scrambled or beaten like this. If the wok is a little bit dry, add in a little bit more oil. Now I'm using cast iron wok over here because I want to cook them on high heat. I want the wok hay on the noodles itself. When this is done, add in 150 grams of cabbage cut into strips like this. Lemon chili. This is 250 grams soaked and softened. Put everything in. This is an extremely simple dish to cook for the family. Very tasty. We're adding the seasoning now. One teaspoon of chicken stock powder. Three teaspoon of light soy sauce. Make sure you mix them up well. We will also add in now one and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce as well as half a cup of water. I prefer to use sing to me fun because it's very springy. Of course, you can use whatever vermicelli that you like or prefer. If your vermicelli is getting a little bit dry, you can add in a little bit more water. The important thing is to mix up the seasoning well with the vermicelli. Now before adding in the char siu and the prawns, we're going to give this a taste to make sure that it's savory enough. I'm going to add in another half a cup of water to soften up the vermicelli a little bit more. Now I'm going to add in 160 grams of char siu, kanju strips like this. If you can't get char siu around your place, we have one video showing you how to make your own char siu. So you can use that recipe and add them to your noodles. Finally, we're adding the prawns that we've cooked just now. Final touch, pepper, and then we are done. Time to dish them up. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Singapore fried vermicelli or sing chou mi fen. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.